Welcome to another episode of Local Search Tuesdays. I've been sharing Google My Business tips all month, so why break the trend? This week we're talking about adding UTM tracking to your website link in GMB. So it turns out that Google Analytics is kind of broken. Thanks to the way that analytics tracking works and the way that mobile devices work with analytics, it turns out that lots of traffic ends up getting misattributed. For years, you've probably been taught that direct traffic in Google Analytics is traffic from users who type in your URL or use a bookmark to go to your site directly. In actuality, direct is Google's bucket for traffic that it can't attribute in any other way. It's basically a catch-all bucket. In reality, you're getting a lot more organic traffic than what's reported in Google Analytics. It's just that without fixing this problem, a good chunk of that organic traffic is reported as direct traffic instead. In fact, a pretty large portion of the organic visits that you get from mobile devices ends up in the direct traffic bucket. So here's how you fix the problem. When you enter your URL in Google My Business, add UTM tracking to the end of your URL. UTM tracking adds parameters to the URL that force Google Analytics to report the traffic with those parameters. So basically, you're forcing Google Analytics to report the traffic as organic. Typically, you'd want to use Google's campaign URL builder to add UTM parameters to a URL, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do and save you a little time. It's actually super easy. Just add this code to the end of your website's URL in your GMB dashboard. Question, UTM source equals GMB listing and UTM medium equals organic. These two parameters tell Google to count the medium of the visit as organic search traffic and the source as your GMB listing. So for our URL, you'd see this in GMB. Searchlabdigital.com question UTM source equals GMB listing and UTM medium equals organic. You need to be sure to use organic with a lowercase o for your medium. That way, if anyone's looking at Google Analytics and checking the default channels, the traffic is included with the organic traffic. Some people like to use Google as the UTM source and then use a UTM campaign variable to separate the GMB traffic. There's nothing wrong with that method. It just takes a few extra clicks in analytics to see what's going on with organic traffic. I prefer to list a separate source. That way, when you're looking at your traffic sources in analytics, you'll be able to see at the top level which traffic came from clicking a link in the standard organic results or from clicking a link in your GMB profile, the map pack, or Google Maps. When we've added UTM tracking to new clients, we've seen some pretty big jumps in organic traffic. Sometimes, it looks like organic traffic increased 20 to 30% overnight. Adding the tracking to your GMB URL doesn't result in any organic ranking benefit, so it doesn't do anything with your traffic. What you're actually seeing is the real level of organic traffic. It's all the traffic that was misattributed as direct in the past. So now you know how to use UTM tracking in your GMB listing to be sure that Google Analytics correctly reports your organic traffic. And as a bonus, you'll be able to track GMB, Map Pack, and Google Map Click independently from other organic traffic. And that's it for this week's video, which means it's that time. Put your hand on the screen right here. We totally just high five because you learned something awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of Local Search Tuesdays.